everybody, it's Diana from Youth Services at Mesa County Libraries. Thank you so much for watching. Today I want to show you how to make a device that is used to measure wind speed. So if you're interested in weather, this is a great activity to do at home. It requires only a few supplies and it's pretty simple to make. So let's get started. Alright, so here are the supplies that you need to do this activity. You'll need five paper cups. You'll need a pencil that is both sharpened and has an eraser on it. You'll need two straws that are the same length. You'll need a push pin. All right, and if you have a hole puncher, that is very helpful, but if you do not have a hole puncher, you can use your pencil with that sharpened end. That will work as well, okay? So those are the main supplies that you need. Now, these are optional supplies that I have over here. This is um, to kind of do a quick little science experiment. So you'll need a timer. So if you have maybe a phone handy or if you have a timer in the kitchen or something like that, that will work. Um, you will also need a marker and you will need a piece of paper. All right, so that's all you need. Okay, so you're gonna take one cup and this will be our center cup. And you're gonna take the cup and your hole puncher and you're gonna go to the rim, the top of the cup and you're gonna go just below that rim and you're gonna punch four holes. And they're gonna be evenly spaced. So think about it like top, and then right below that, the bottom. And then you're gonna do both sides. And there we go. Okay, so there are four holes in your center cup. Now we're gonna make another hole and it's gonna go into the bottom of your cup and you're gonna actually use your pencil this time. And you're gonna just stick it right into the middle here. Okay, and you wanna push it all the way to the fattest part of the pencil because you wanna make sure that it's big enough for the straw to, or for the pencil itself to actually be in the cup, okay? All right, so there's that. Now we're going to take our straws and we're going to poke them through the top of our cup. So we're gonna do one side to the other side. Now, if you're kind of struggling to get that straw into the cup, you can always take your hole puncher and you can go basically right a little bit off center from that hole that you made so you can make it just a little bit bigger. So you can make um, that hole just a little bit bigger so that straw will be able to be threaded through it. All right, so I'm gonna make these just a little bit bigger because that straw didn't quite wanna get in there. Okay, so now my holes are a little bit bigger and it should be easier to get this straw in. So we're just gonna feed it right across the center there. Okay, so what we're gonna do with the other straw is the same thing with those empty holes. I'm just gonna feed it through this other opposite hole and you'll see that it, they both cross at the top there. All right, so now we're gonna set this aside and we're gonna work with the outer cups. We have four outer cups that we're gonna work with here. So what we wanna do is take our hole punch and we're gonna pick a side and we're gonna do two holes and they're gonna be pretty much mm, about an inch apart from each other. So we're gonna go down from the rim of the cup, oh, about, I don't know, about an inch. And we're gonna just punch it. And then we're gonna go about an inch over and punch it again. These cups are gonna go on the outside of the straw, like this, okay? So we've got one done, let's do the other. The other ones here. Okay. Okay, so we have our four cups punched on the one side with the two holes. Okay, so now let's feed these cups into our straws. Now again, if these are gonna be too small for the straw, you may wanna just slightly go over the, with uh, the hole punch again just to make that hole a little bit bigger. And I'm gonna have to do that, so I'm gonna do that really quick here. 
want to make sure it's easier to thread those thras, the straws through cups here. All right. Okay, so we've got those all a little bit bigger. And so what you want to do is just thread the straw straight through those two holes, kind of just weave it in. Okay, so there's the one, and then let's do the other ones. So what's cool is when the wind blows, or when you even blow on it, these cups are gonna move. Um, these cups are gonna help this whole thing move around. And then you can use it to measure how fast the wind is going. All right, our last one here. Okay, so now I have my center cup with the straws crossed in the middle, and then I have all my cups facing the same direction on the outside here. All these outside cups are facing the same direction. They're going the same way, okay? So then what we're gonna do, remember that hole that I made at the bottom with my pencil? I'm going to put the eraser through that hole so that it meets up with the straws, okay? And then to make sure that it all stays together, I'm going to take my push pen and I'm going to go through both holes and then I'm gonna push it down into the top of that eraser. Now, the tricky part about this is you want to make sure that it stays together, but you don't want to push it down so hard that the cups have a, an issue moving. So you want to make sure, oops, that didn't go, like, go in. You want to make sure that when you push it down, you don't push it like really, really hard down, kind of a little bit loose so that you can move. See, it was a little too, oh, there it goes. You want to make sure that you can move it, you can spin it with your fingers. So that's a good test for it, okay? Oops. Let's make sure that this, this part can be a little bit tricky. Because you want to make sure it stays on, but you don't want it to be too tight either. There's a balance to it. Okay, there it goes. All right, so that's all there is to it. Okay, so now that we've had fun sort of just playing with it, Let's see if we can do a little experiment with our anemometer, our wind speed meter here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one cup that's on the outside and we're gonna take a marker and we're gonna mark the side of it. I'm just gonna make a big red dot here on the side. And the reason I'm doing that is because it's gonna help me track how many times this spins around, okay? I can see that red mark. And every time it spins around, I'm going to make a tally on my page, which is basically just a little mark down on the page, okay? So what we wanna do is get our timer ready and we're gonna set it for one minute and we're gonna see how many times this rotates around. And I'm just gonna use my breath, but you could do this outside with the wind or you could try a fan as well. So let's see what we can do here. All right, here we go. This is our experiment and go. was one, two, three, four, five. All right, so have fun going through a minute to see how many times this rotates. All right, well, I hope you have fun with your anemometer, your wind speed meter, um, you know, trying it outside or even just using a fan or your breath itself to make it rotate and spin around. It's kind of fun. Um, so if you're interested in learning more about weather, we have, of course, tons of books that you can check out at all of our different library locations. Um, they have different experiments and they explain weather um, in more detail for you. Now, if you're somebody that likes to watch videos to learn, we do have a great video on Canopy Kids. So all you need to do is have your library card and then you set up an account on our website with Canopy Kids. So once you've done that, then you go to um, the search box in Canopy Kids and you type in the word weather. 
and then you'll see a video that says observing weather and you click on that and it explains all the different devices that meteorologists, the people that study weather, um, that predict storms and so forth, um, use to do that. So um, check that out, it's pretty fun and it actually does talk about the anemometers as well. So you get a little more information about those. So stay tuned for more activities and we will see you next time. Have fun!